everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's video tutorial will be explaining a screen of the day called Mod UI by Samati or Samati, and here it is. As you can see, it looks very cool. So let us have a closer look and see what the screen is all about. So if we have a look at the entire screen, we can see it's very functional for everyday use, even as it is a single screen. So starting from the top, we can see we've got these three social icons here. Obviously, you can change them if you want. And just by tapping them, will bring up that app that you would want. Next to that, we've got this very, very cool looking Android 4.2 clock. Yes, it does work. And we've got this very cool looking gallery picture here that when tapped will obviously bring up your gallery. Having a look below that, we've got our very simple but extremely useful weather widget here that can see our weekly forecast. And below this, we've got our very cool looking icons here that when tapped will bring up that respected app. Underneath that, we've got all the toggles that we need for our day to day use that just when tapped will enable them or disable them. And then finally beneath that we've got our very handy icons here that can also be changed if you would like as well as our settings and app draw icons here that obviously when tapped will bring them up. As you can see here just to top it off we've got we're using Nova Launcher and it's got our little notifications for any one of these that you would like. So if you like what you see let us begin with today's Android home screen tutorial. Alrighty, starting from our stock Nova Launcher, don't worry, you can still do this in Apex or Holo Launcher if you prefer. So what we want to start doing is going into our options. So we want to hold down, select our options, our little wrench there, and we want to first go into our desktop settings. Go next into our desktop grid, and from here you can change your grid settings. Now, as you can see, I have a 16 by 12 which is quite high. I'll get to that now, how to explain it, a bigger grid size. But for now, I'm using quite a high row number just to just to be able to resize the widgets better. It is recommended by the author to use a seven by six, but in the end, I found this to be quite useful. So you wanna go okay. But now in order to get that those large grid sizes, if we go back into our main Nova settings and you hold down the volume bar, labs will be enabled. And if we scroll down here, this labs menu will appear and you just need to select big grid size options which will allow you to get those large grid sizes. So going back into our desktop settings, we want our width margin, we want that to be medium but our height margin to be none. We want to take off the shadow, home screens we just want one home screen. Finally you want to be able to resize all widgets and then in your advanced settings you want to enable widget overlap and then overlap when placing just comes in handy. You might be able to get away with widget overlap because I think it's just for the pro version but it's not as easy and it's just a lot easier with the pro version. So next we want to go back, we want to go into our dock settings now. Now I enabled the dock just because I think there's a Nova error or a glitch where placing icons at the bottom just makes them disappear so enabling the dock just comes in handy. It also comes in handy as it enables you if you've got a large grid size to have normal sized icons as I'll be showing later in this video. Finally you want to scroll down to advanced and enable dock as overlay. Also comes in handy. So we'll go back. Now if you've got Nova Prime it's really cool because you can go into unread counts and you, t you can turn on un unread counts and then place them however you want. Obviously you've got the free version you cannot do this but it's just cool because it just adds easier notifications for you to see. So if we go back that is our Nova settings set up so that's carry on with the wallpaper. Okay so for the wallpaper it's very easy to set up if you've got a phone without the soft keys. As you can see here I've got my Galaxy S2 and because without the soft keys it's just very easy to set up. It does need to ch choose however you want it so yeah it just makes a lot things, things a lot easier. But the author here has been very kind enough to create a Nexus 4 wallpaper as obviously it'll go behind these soft keys that we can see here. So all you have to do is hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers, go into your gallery or your quick pick, whichever one you prefer, and then go into where you've saved the wallpaper. So there I've saved it here. And if it's with Nova, you can always go to select here and select portrait, and it should take up the whole thing. So obviously, if you're using the Galaxy S2, you're gonna have to slide it up and down a bit and see where it suits best. That goes for other phones as well. So once you've found the correct fitting, you just wanna go okay, and it'll set the wallpaper. 
as you can see it fits perfectly like that so obviously if it doesn't work for you you might want to try out wallpaper wizardry photo editor multi-picture live wallpaper one of those will definitely work for you and if not there's always Photoshop but for now stick to the wallpapers that are provided in the links below great so once you've got your wallpaper set up it's all down to adding in the icons and the widgets so we're gonna start off at the top with our analog clock you simply have to hold down on the home screen select widgets and then obviously if you're running the latest jelly bean you'll be able to have the analog clock here to select it like that if not you want to download an app called clock JB and it works just the same you just want to hold down on it and now resize this is why I selected the large grid size just so it gives you more freedom to make it fit nicely like this okay next we're gonna jump into adding these shortcuts here so we want to hold down on the home screen select apps now, this is probably the easiest and probably more battery saving way of doing it so if we want to add in Google Plus we're just gonna select it as you can see it's been cropped off because of a large grid size but that does not matter because we're gonna be adding or making them invisible or transparent so you want to get it as close as you can onto the icon you want to hold down on it select edit select the picture now select gallery go into where you've copied your blank PNG don't worry a link is provided below so you just want to select it don't worry if it's blank or black just make sure it's a blank dot PNG you just want to go OK boom it'll be transparent you go OK so now if you just select Google Plus it'll open up your Google Plus account pretty pretty cool next you want to be adding in this gallery or making it open up your gallery so you want to hold down select widgets and now you want to use an app called desktop visualizer very handy as we'll see now you can choose any size let's go for a two by two as we're going to hold down it hold down on it and go resize so from here we can pretty much make it cover the entire gallery like this as you can see the other way of doing this would be adding in lots of icons which can get quite time consuming so we just want to select it now and go select icon go into your image file I'm just gonna use my gallery again and you want to select that same blank PNG boom like that you want to launch your application you can either make it a gallery or your quick pick it does not really matter I'm just gonna go gallery for now so you want to clear your label as well as take off touch effect if you want and then go OK so you just want to hold down it finally and go send to back because now this will enable you to still get to your clock but if you want to get to your gallery you can just select that and it will open up your gallery pretty pretty cool now with that desktop visualizer like I said if you don't want to have an icon here you would rather have a desktop visualizer to take up more space you're welcome to add it in exactly the same way we did for the gallery so continuing with these icons you're going to be doing exactly the same thing for here say for the play store you want to hold down and select apps you can do this all at once with Nova if you just say select multiple so here we have our play store you just want to select it as you can see it's also very tiny so you're welcome to use desktop visualizer if you don't like this method but it's pretty cool because you can still get it onto the icon you just want to hold it down go edit and make it your blank PNG boom just like we did above you just want to go OK so it'll be the same like these as you did here now for the dock it's going to be exactly the same thing let's start off with our app drawer you just want to select hold down on the home screen select Nova settings and go app drawer now remember we added in the dock now the good reason for this is that if you hold down and you drag it into the app you drag it into the dock it takes and makes up or it just makes a better looking or a fuller icon and you can just make that blank as well so for Gmail you just want to hold down and go apps so for those you can add them also select multiple and you want to go Gmail so as you can see it's very tiny there but dragging it there makes it a lot bigger and a lot better looking so once you've made all your icons blank PNGs obviously if you don't like these icons say if you don't want Instagram the PSD is provided so you can just add in your individual icons from there and if you don't like these icons you're welcome to use the blank wallpaper also provided so that you can just put in any icons that you want next we're going to be moving on to our weather widget over here so we want to hold down on the home screen select widgets and you want to select eye and sky and you want to select the forecast option from here now it's going to come up it's going to come up with some options you want to choose symbolic cons for your icons and your text color you want to make it black 
you can select show edit dots and show refresh if you require and you want to select OK. Boom, it is set up like this. You just need to resize it however you want. That's a good thing about having a large grid size is that it'll always fit in like that. And there we have our weather widget or our iron sky widget set up. Next we're gonna, or finally, we're gonna be moving on to our power toggles over here. So to add them, we just wanna hold down, select widgets, wanna go to your app called power toggles. And the first thing you wanna do maybe is just get rid of a few of these. You don't need all of them. Just wanna go remove, say remove the, the flash one if you want, you just hold down. You can just hold down on it and then either choose change icon or remove. So if you want to add another one, you just want to go add toggle. And you get a whole list to choose from here. So I'm just going to select battery info like this. And there it is, all the ones that we need right there. So we want to just take off now. We're going to take off the transparency, make it the background completely transparent. And next we want to start editing these colors a bit. This one here is for the icons when they're not selected or not enabled. So we're just going to make enable a full alpha or make it completely opaque and choose a nice gray color go set color next we're going to making next we're going to change the blue the ones that are enabled to a matte black go set color and there we have it obviously you can change the orange ones if you'd want that's just for an in-between one i think and you want to go done boom there we have it it's just a bit squished so we can resize it to make it bigger once again many columns help to resize it for your phone and there we have our home screen set up as well as our video tutorial complete. I hope you've enjoyed it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well as join our Facebook, Twitter and our Google Plus communities as well as our blog that we have. Yes, we have a blog it's called The Artist. So you might want to go check those out. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing. <music>